Timbers defender Bill Tuiloma joining Ross Smith and me. Bill, you've now started three straight games. You got your first goal against Orlando. I know you guys wanted the win, of course, but what has this past month been like for you coming into the team as a starter? Um, it's been uh, it's been crazy. I've had uh, playing obviously playing my first game, getting my first goal. Uh, obviously, we wanted to get the win. Well, I'm, I'm happy to get my goal and. Uh, Hopefully we continue like that and uh, we get the win this weekend. You talk about the goal, if we have a look at it, what were you seeing as the ball was coming in? And obviously a good corner kick into you. What was going through your mind? Um, when I was walking up, uh, you know, I, I, I said in my head, I'm going to score, I'm going to score. And um, you know, when you, when you literally crossed the ball, and you know, I just, just saw it just come towards me. So I just jumped. I was a little bit to the right of me, so I had to try and adjust to it. And I got a good head on it. And, Saw it in the back of the net. And the, the celebration, the, the Millie Rock, you said the kids will know what that is. <laughs> What's the inspiration behind it? Uh, no, I've, I've always done, I was, I was thinking of a celebration that I would do if, if I score a goal, and um, that was the Millie Rock. So, yeah. Yeah. It was obviously a, a good sense, a good feeling with the team up until the 78th minute, of course. What was the, the feeling along uh, with it in the, the team feeling, up until that time? The scoring the goal, it was, uh, it was a no, it was, it was amazing to get my first goal and um, you know, I was, I was sh pretty shocked that you know, I scored a goal obviously you can see my, <laughs> by my face I was, I was saying whoa 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 what's, what's going on and, and it came up with my dance moves so yeah. Uh, I, I, from there obviously the game didn't go the way that you guys wanted it to. Um, what's the feeling in the group now after uh, what of course was a disappointing final 10 minutes of that match? Um, you know, after the game everyone was you know, kind of Oh, I was, I was, I was shocked that you know what just you know just saying that what just happened in that little horror spell. But um, you know, coming back, I think the players are ready for the next game. So that game's in the past; that's gone, and we're going to focus on our next game against Minnesota, and um, and we're going to learn them tomorrow and uh, see what we can do and what we can improve in uh, in our game and. Uh, we're all excited to be at home in front of our fans, and uh, it's going to be it's going to be very good. It's three games for you now that you've started, that you've played in. Do you see the progression in the team and the team moving more towards an identity mm -hmm. and what's expected from the players out of the manager? Yeah, for sure. Everyone's. Uh, I think the team is coming together. It's coming together slowly each game, and um, we have uh, we have improved a lot and throughout the, each game. So obviously, we didn't get the our you know results that we wanted, but. Coming back, like I said, we've been on five road games, and you know the flight and everything. It's uh, it's kind of tough, but now everyone's back here. We've had a good, good week training, and we've got one training session tomorrow before the big game at home. You're used to, to long flights when you go back to, to play for the New Zealand national team, but maybe not in, in league play, right? What has it been like? It's not like you guys were going up and down the West Coast. Mm -hmm. Your five games, four of them were two time zones away at least. How, how have you handled that personally, all those flights, all those nights in hotel rooms? Um, no, it's just, it's normal. Because, you know, like you said, I've been, I've been traveling 13, 14 hours yeah. away um, to go back to my national team. But um, it's, uh, you know, it's part of your career. This is a, it's part of your, you know, your football life, soccer life, what you guys call it here. <laughs> and um, you know, you just have to get used to it. You know, you gotta. There's always a way to overcome it. And um, you know, you get the physios; they can help you out. And um, and yeah, so you just have to overcome it and um, do the job on the game day. But yeah. It's been a long journey for you as well. There's a fantastic article written by Richard Farley, Timbers.com, mm -hmm. just to talk about your journey. And for you, you look at the different places that you've played, the different countries. Does it feel as though you're settling in, you have a place now to settle in that you can yeah. call home for oh, yeah, hopefully a while? 100%. You know, I feel, I feel happier a lot. You know, I'm excited to go to the training. I'm, you know, outside of soccer, is, is a good life as well. So um, I think I am settling. I think I found a place that I can you know, stay, hopefully stay a bit longer, and um, I just got to take each year by year and uh, go on from there.